Hello everybody, welcome back to the series. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm actually going to teach you how to uh, interact with the API. As you can see, Twitter offers a lot of things you can do with their API, but right now we'll be focusing on actually posting the tweets and get our feet wet a little bit. So let me open up my terminal and uh, I'm using um, tmux over here. If you open your default terminal, you won't get that green bar, you won't get that extra functionality. Uh, anyhow, this is not a tmux tutorial, let's move on. So the first thing that I would like to tell you guys is uh, the credential that we got. I saved them in um, two files. So creds.txt is the actual credential, fake creds.txt is just to tell you guys how I've arranged the credentials in my files. So if you take a look at fake creds, um, this is just new line separated uh, credentials. So the next thing that we would want to do is open up IPython. So IPython is just an advanced for level shell for uh, interacting with python uh, i guess i am butchering the definition of ipython but who cares anyhow we need an a library or a package uh, that would actually help us to install um, actually interact or create a zero auth session anyhow let's install that so pip3 install request underscore zero auth lib hit enter this should download and install all of the required files or packages um, pip3 if you don't know uh, is actually a python package manager so there's that anyhow so we're importing 0 auth one session from request.authlib now that we have that let's create a session variable uh, before that let's load up the file so creds is equal to open fake creds.txt and read lines so if you print out creds, you can see this is new line separated uh, list and uh, there's a slash in which we don't want. So um, yeah, we're going to strip that out. N so let's actually load our new file, which actually has the credentials. So creds.txt read lines. Okay. I'm not going to print that out. Uh, I almost did. Anyhow, let's create a session object. Session object is of 0 auth one session. And let's just apply the client ID. So uh, here we are supplying the client ID. Then we will supply the client secrets, so on and so forth. We're going to strip that as well. And oops, 0, 1, 2, 3, yep. Okay, I'm butchering this. Let's see. All right. So a session object has been created. Um, let's try and actually post some stuff. So let's set up params first. And let me tell you what params actually do. So if you go to some random website.com slash question mark, something is equal to actually, you know what? name is equal to Sahil actually we don't need those quotes so as you can see this right over here is the parameter so these this is we are uh, going to program uh, programmatically embed into our system so params is equal to we're going to create a dictionary object and this is going to be status uh, status is going to be the actual tree that we want to put out into the world so hello world the classic and after we are done we need the URL to post it to so let's go to developers documentation here's the resource URL URL is equal to let's save it as a string now what we can do is session dot post URL uh, goes over here and params is equal to params now let's see the response all right so the response is 200 200 means okay the request was completed successfully and we should have a hello world post on our previously well not empty but uh, previously one tweet wall so let's refresh this and see if we actually have this and as you can see we have hello world um that's it for this tutorial i'm going to be explaining a lot of things later on but uh, i hope you guys I still got to feet wet and if you have any questions concerns please leave them uh, in the comments down below um, if you dislike this video dislike it if you like this video like it if you want any help um, sure I can help you out and uh, see you guys in the next video bye bye